Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to um, finish this off, putting the background in, dropping in the letters that she's presenting, hiding this uh, from the render, and uh, at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a couple little things extra. So make sure to stick around at the end of the video. We'll talk about um, a little bit of extra animation that we're going to add to this um, this whole animation project. So here we here we are, and uh, we finished all of the lip syncing in the last video. Let's just take a look at that real quick. Hit play. Hi, I'm Shinomi, and today we'll be studying analytical chemistry. She says at the end, we'll be studying analytical chemistry. So I am going to drop that in. Uh, those letters, we'll drop them in here. Uh, and so let's get that down. We don't need the sequencer anymore. Let's get rid of this. We might need the grease pencil. The, I mean, I'm sorry, the dope sheet. So we're gonna keep that, and we're gonna keep the um, timeline. Let's go ahead and bring that background in via add image, images planes, and then we're going to do, I believe it's this one. There it is. I'm gonna hit scale. and I am going to move it in place. All right there. I'm gonna make it a little bit larger, S to scale. And I am also going to move it back. Here I'm gonna turn on wireframe and I'm gonna push it back uh, so that it's behind all of my elements. Hit zero and there it is. Uh, now, I think the client wanted this, uh, the girl to be a little bit bigger. And so let's go ahead and scale. Now, remember when we exported uh, these PNGs out of Adobe Illustrator, we exported as 300 DPI. So they've got enough resolution. And in the last video, we parented the mouth to the body. And so hopefully we can go ahead and scale these I'm going to hit the unlock button, click on the body, and then let's scale her and move her it's about somewhere where we could still see the words and we can see, still see her. And, and I think that's a good scale. Um, let's go ahead and also click her and click the mouth positions, hide these mouth shapes lock it and we're only now seeing her uh, lip syncing her mouth and so there it is there's the position the next step is to bring in the text so we're gonna add text uh, and I hate how blender does this instead of putting it on the on the front view they put it on the top view so all we need to do is rotate it 90 degrees on the X and there's our text. I'm gonna bring it over here and go to edit mode, get rid of this, and then we'll put all caps and a lytical chemistry. All right, let's um, go ahead and color these and make them um, the right size. So go back to object. Let's create a new material, new. We'll just color it red. And then go back to the editing, the data properties. And let's uh, do center justify. And let's make it a little bit smaller. <laughs> Here's the font the size we'll just drop it a little bit smaller all 
All right, before we go any further, let me fix this because I just typed it up real quick. Go to edit and chemistry, analytical chemistry. All right, let's go ahead and um, animate this coming in. The letters will come in. Hi, I'm Shinomi, and today we'll be studying analytical chemistry. Um, at about. Studying analytical. Let's say they come in at about eighty. We'll be studying analytical chemistry. Or ninety. So. It'll be rather quick. Let's say that we start at uh, ninety, and we end it at one ten. So we need to create a keyframe right there, hit I, and then we'll create a keyframe for the location. Okay, and so the keyframe is at 110. Let's go all the way to maybe 90, and then push it up. Push it up off screen, and it'll create a keyframe right there, auto keyframe, and let's try it. Hi. And today we'll be studying All right, cool. Now the hand, we're gonna have to fix that. The hand we're gonna select, uh, I'm gonna not select the body, lock the body, and select these two, the upper arm, lower arm. And then we are going to, uh, well, in fact, you know what? Let's select all of these, all of the arm. And let's move everything to about frame 70. Let's see where that goes. Hi, I'm Shinomi, and today we'll be studying analytical chemistry. There we go. Now the chemistry, we need, we need to drop it a little faster. Here, uh, and so we started at 70, so let's move it um, up to 70. 70 and let's make it drop in about 10 frames. Let's see how that is. Hi, I'm Shinomi and today we'll be studying analytical oh, A little chemistry. too fast, a little too fast. Let's go to 90. Today we'll be studying analytical chemistry. There we go. Hi, I'm Shinomi and today we'll be studying analytical chemistry. There we go. Now. I want to give it a little bit of a, a more dynamic fall. And so with this, I'd like to do, uh, go to, I like to go ahead and open, instead of this uh, dope sheet, let's go to the graph editor. And I can see the Z um, location animated here. And let's, uh, let's uh, hide everything except for that Z hit uh, home, that uh, brings it up. And then what I'd like to do is select this one only and then push it, push it up above this to give it a little bit of a bounce. Check this out. Boop. See that guys? And so that gives it a little bit of a... Uh, it gives it a little bit of a... Uh, more dynamic. I'm gonna slow it down just a tiny bit, and then I'm gonna make this this one I'm gonna make this one uh, almost linear. It's gonna pick up speed real quick and then do that little bounce. There it is. And let, Hi, let's time it. There it is. Awesome. Cool. Uh, we're done, basically. Um, at the request that, of one of my subscribers, uh, they asked if we could copy the blink into another area of the timeline for a second blink? And the answer is yes, we'll do that right now. We're gonna copy 
these keyframes for the blink for the eyes and copy it uh, maybe mm, two more times one here and then one here and so if we go all the way uh, to where that blink happens at frame 10 let's select uh, the eyes partly open the eyes open and the eyes closed all of them and here they are let's go um, and right click on the keyframes and hit duplicate and then just bring them in to wherever you'd like the second blink let go and then let's see if that worked Hi. And show me, there it is. Let's do another one. Select them, right click, duplicate, and then bring them in at about 130, more or less. <laughs> so let's see the whole thing. Hi. Blinks and once, me, blinks twice, me, blinks three times. Hi. Cool. Let's add. Um, couple more frames to 150 zoom out to see the whole thing remember this will be off off screen so let's look at the whole thing guys hi I'm Shinomi and today we'll be studying analytical chemistry hi I'm Shinomi and today we'll be studying analytical chemistry and then we're done the last thing i want to do and this is the kind of the surprise to make this whole animation a little bit more dynamic guys is we're going to animate the camera and so we're going to start with a close-up and then zoom out uh, we're going to start with her um close up and then again we will zoom out to this position so if you select the camera if you select the camera and create a keyframe <laughs> let's see when i'd like that to end Hi, i guess when she says her name uh, at frame 60 i want that camera position to stop right there at the end position which is the the zoomed out uh, position so i am going to um, hit I and make a keyframe for the location and then it'll it'll zoom out in about 15 frames so the the beginning position I'm going to push in the camera uh, let's do what I did in that video guys uh, I have a video explaining how to animate the camera and in this and in this view I am going to select the camera and in this view I want to see what the camera is looking at so at frame 45 the start position will be a close-up and I'm, and I'm moving my camera here and I'm looking at what the camera is looking at here all right let's move the camera to here and then maybe up And then let's hit this. I'm looking at this. It's a little bit abrupt. Uh, let's make it a little slower. I'm going to grab this one, push it back. Maybe this one, push it back a little. And let's see what that looks like. I'm Shinomi, and today we'll be looks a little bit better. I just want to check um, the slow in and slow out. Uh, I'm going to open up this window and let's see. I think I just animated the Y position, the location. I'm going to hit home and I'm not going to view all of this stuff. I'm just going to view the Y and the X. Hit home again. There they are. So the Y is what's going back. And I want to make sure that these two, this one and this one, slowly come to an end. Slowly. And so I'm going to push this curve back to here. 
and do the same here. This one's not that uh, critical. This will make sure that the camera slowly stops, slowly stops. All right, cool, let's check it out. I'm gonna close this window and hit play again. Hi, I'm Shinomi. Introducing there we go. Chemistry. There we go. I think that's Hi, it, guys. I'm Shinomi. Introducing studying analytical chemistry. I think that's it. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna close this up and view it almost full frame one more time. See, close up. Hi. I'm Shinomi, and today we'll be studying oh. analytical chemistry. Hi, I'm Shinomi, and today we'll be studying analytical And that's it, guys. We've taken this all the way from just downloading some images on the internet, uh, preparing them in a um, vector program, Inkscape, Adobe Illustrator, um, Affinity Designer, any of these programs will do. Preparing those files, importing them into Blender, rigging it with parenting, rigging the arm, the eyes, doing the lip syncing uh, with the audio, and then finally adjusting the animation, the timing, adding a background, the other elements, and adjusting everything. Finally, finally, animating the camera to make it a little bit more dynamic and bam we have a presenter animation complete let's watch it one more time hi i'm shinomi and today we'll be studying analytical chemistry boom there it is hey guys um if you like this video let me know um if you want to see more projects like this let me know in the comment section and uh I'm also thinking of opening up a membership area in my channel so that I can provide all of these files for you so that you can follow along. Uh, let me know what you guys' uh, thoughts are on me opening up a membership area so that I can provide all of these files for you. And remember, please, to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.